Hi class, um, we're going to do another drawing today. Um, I have a bit of a more complicated shape. Um, I'm very excited to draw it and then I'm excited to eat it. Uh, all right, so we have a acorn squash. Um, probably roast it up later, but that's beside the point. Um, yeah, so we're going to do the same technique as before with the crayon and the watercolor. Um, so again, your supplies are something to draw. Um, the cat is optional. Um, some crayons, wax crayons, watercolor paints, water, and a uh, paintbrush. You really only need one or two. Um, anyway, so the very first thing we have to think about um, when we are drawing something is the angle we want to draw it. So do we want to draw it from straight on? Do we want to draw it from the bottom? Do we want to draw it from the side? Or do we want to draw it in kind of a slanted way? So, um, I think <laughs> cats are truly the best. Um, anyway, I think for the drawing that I want to do, I'm going to pick kind of a side angle so I can get the nice profile. I can get kind of um, this nice shape here as well. So let's just get started. All right, so here we go. Um, the way I'm going to draw it is probably just like that. So I'll just place it there. All right, I'm going to start with a bit of a, a lighter color crayon. This one's called Green Yellow. I would also call it Chartreuse. Uh, random fact, fire trucks and uh, fire hydrants used to be this color in the 90s, so it's very nostalgic for me. It's a, a great color. Anyway, so sometimes we want to even try to get the whole shape in first rather than just thinking about the, the segments. So with this color, I'm going to kind of just draw a circle because I see the acorn squash kind of like a circle. So I'm just going to draw very, very, very lightly. Because if I press hard and make a mistake, you'll see it in the drawing, which might actually look kind of cool. Like I think a lot of the time when our mistakes come through and uh, they look more intentional, um, they actually are really, as uh, Bob Ross would say, happy little mistakes. All right, so I'm going to kind of darken it a little bit. I see the very back of the squash has a bit of a dimple to it. It's almost like it has a nose. Then I'm going to bring it down. Again, kind of bring it over. I'm assuming this color is actually quite hard to see, so I do, do apologize. Um, and I see each of kind of the segments of the squash kind of jut out and they, they kind of look like that jalapeno shape. So in a way we could just draw, uh, you know, like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six jalapenos all stuck together like bananas. I think they might look more like bananas actually. I'm just thinking the color. Um, all right, so again, I'm gonna draw that shape in there. Kind of comes up and meets the, the base. How fun. Excellent. You can draw that little stem in there. <laughs> this is a cute little shape. And now I'm just going to go over the, uh, the lines so when I paint it, um, those are, lines are going to be really, really, really bright. And just like in the other shape we did, um, I'm going to add some white for highlights. And so I see that the light is coming from this side. And then there's some light kind of coming on the curves of that portion. Again, the white is really hard to see because not necessarily really a color. Just some wax residue. And for the shadow, I'm actually just going to use a gray. So it's not super dark, but it is tonally darker than the uh, yellow green chartreuse. All right, so I see that there's a little bit of shadow here. 
if we think of shadow, we can think of it in, in the areas that the sun doesn't really touch, right? And when you're adding the highlights and the shadow, don't overthink it. Be like, oh, it looks dark there, and then just color it in. Um, the more that you think about it, the more that your brain will actually play tricks on you. It's like when you walk into a dark basement and uh, you think you see something moving. The more that you think that maybe it's a ghost or a spider or, or a mouse or something, the more that your brain will actually... Um, convince you that that's what it is and there's like a scary monster downstairs. When really it might just be a kind monster, right? Can't judge a book by its cover. Okay, cool. Um, I like how that looks now. So, again, I'm gonna take my watercolors. I'm gonna find a brush. Um, I'm gonna use this one. So, again, when we're painting with watercolor, um, we just wanna give Give the paint a sip of water. We don't we don't want to drown it. We don't want to like give it a big like glug 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 glug. Um, we're just going in. We're kind of making sure those bristles of the brush and these are the bristles are wet. And then you'll see that I when I go in, I'll actually either flick it off or kind of squeegee it uh, it off on the sides. Very important. All right, so I am gonna paint this green. show you what I'm doing. I don't really need this guy here for this. It's a bit of a angle so you can see it. And again, don't be worried if you draw, if you, sorry, paint outside of the lines, because I think it has a really nice aesthetic to it anyway. And uh, if you're wondering what aesthetic means, um, it's just kind of like the look of something. And, uh, if you go along with these and start and start painting these and, and you have a whole bunch of them, um, think of ways that you can display them like, or ways that you can use them. Like, think, is it, you know, when it, maybe someone's birthday coming up pretty soon, you could use it as like a birthday card or a thank you card or a get well card if you know someone who's sick. Um, yeah. Oh, I like it. It's pretty cute. Abra, do you like it? She's just jealous that I'm giving you guys attention because she always wants attention. All right, so I'll show you how it looks. Pretty simple. And there you have it, a uh, little acorn squash. Until next time.